Hello and welcome to day five of Infuse and Enthuse. Now you may or may not have noticed that I didn't show up yesterday um, and that's because I wasn't feeling too good so I went to bed and had a sleep and that just so happens to be the topic of today's, um, the subject of today's talk really um, and how important sleep is. Now I did, I did feel unwell so I thought I'd just take an hour and then I set my alarm and I just thought you know what, I'm just going to carry on and I slept all the way through till the morning. Well, it was a bit of a disturbed sleep, um, but I just carried on and I let go because it was, my body obviously needed it for some reason or other. And so I just need to reiterate to you that um, yesterday we talked about light and how important that is. It does have an effect on our metabolism and uh, sleep does too because we get too much light and um, it's hard to sleep, which is why it's important to have a slowing down process before you go to bed, rather than just finding it as somewhere to go and lay your head because you're absolutely exhausted. Now, I did have a headache yesterday, which was really, for me, it was a sign of um, I needed to shut the world out and have some silence, and that is the beauty of one of the things that sleep actually does. Um, one of the things that can disturb it before you go to sleep is having that head chatter about all the things that you haven't done during the day and all the things you've got to do the next day. Now, I always, always go through in my head all the things that I have achieved. Um, and um, actually, once you're in bed, there's actually sod all you can do about tomorrow. So perhaps it might be good to get into the habit of writing down a few things before you lay your head to rest so that it's out of your brain and you're not worrying about it because bed is, we're very privileged to have a squidgy bed to go to. There's no, I love nothing more than cuddling up with a soft um, feather pillow, wrapping the covers around me and just resting. And then in that place, give gratitude to everything that I've given for the actual, that I've received in the day. And I look forward to a peaceful night's sleep and good dreams, hopefully. So my... Um, the premise of my ask, bringing up this subject is to make sure that you get enough good sleep. Now, we're all different, have different metabolisms and have a different amount of sleep. So it's really the, that quality of the sleep you get as opposed to the amount of sleep that you get. I'm a night owl, so um, I've given up the, trying to get to bed earlier because I just don't sleep. So for me, it's important the, the quality of the sleep that I do get whilst I'm in bed that's important. Laying everything to rest for the, the day I've had, gratitude for it, and then having a good night's sleep. Anyway, if um, if you've got any questions, um, then just pop them below. Let me know what. Keep an eye on your sleep patterns. That's another thing, because um, sometimes, and you know, again, it's all about the circadian rhythm and um, also the seasons. We've just come into spring, so there is actually more light, which actually does affect us. Um, you may find that you're sleeping more different seasons as well. Depends on your menstrual cycle and all that kind of thing. So just keep an eye on it. Um, become aware of it. Um, that's really the purpose of this whole challenge is to raise your awareness about what things affect you in your life. Anyway, enjoy your day and have a good night's sleep. Take care. Bye-bye.